The master has been injured. Terminate all opposition. No, what the? <laughs> Destroy the invader. <laughs> Everyone, Knights of the Old Republic time. This is day two. Here we are. So far on Knights of the Old Republic. What have we done in day one? It's my first time playing through. I'm playing through it a little bit slow. We went through Taurus. We, we completely finished the first part of the game, right? The first world. So we went through. We went down to the lower city. We did the dueling tournament. We did that. That was part of the bounties, I guess. Um, we went through. We did the swoop race. We got... Um, oh, frick. I'm blanking. What's your name? Talk about boomer ballista it wasn't ballista ballista is a siege weapon batista whatever her name is wow actual boomer month bastilla it was bastilla that's right yeah so we we got bastilla we got the droid we got uh we, we got everybody and then we're, we're now we're moving on traditionally the jedi do not accept adults for training though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order but you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? It's been really good talk, We though. should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. Thank you, dude. Thank you for the 22 months. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Bruco 16 just resubbed for two months. Thank you, Bruco. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Force so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. I had a rough night. Well, I can't say I blame you. I, I haven't exactly been sleeping well myself. Here, I thought things would get better once we escaped Terrace. I'm fine. Let's go. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected. You have a strong affinity with the Force. With such power comes great responsibility and danger. You may wish to deny what you are, but the Council cannot turn a blind eye. Neither will Darth Malak. Your strength is a threat to him. In time, he will learn of you, and the Sith will hunt you down. It is inevitable. Defeating the Sith is the only way to save yourself. Seems I have no choice. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. I surrender myself to the will of the council. We must begin your training at once. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. 
You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. The Jedi Council on Dantooine is designed to train you in the ways that after initial training, your first task will be to learn the precepts of Jedi code. The code is the path which... Chat, don't help me. Emote only. Emote only. There is... Knowledge. There is no passion. There is the light. That is not correct, Apprentice. Oh, Perhaps you are not yet ready for this challenge. Frick. There is no shame in admitting weakness. Feel free to speak to the other Jedi in the Academy if you require assistance. They will gladly share their knowledge with you. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. May the Force be with you. There is the Force. That is not correct, Apprentice. Perhaps you are not yet ready for this challenge. We'll figure this out. Hold on. There is only Pepega. Greetings, Apprentice. Though I understand you shall not have that lowly title much longer, Master Jar tells me that your progress has been remarkable. Soon he feels you will attain the rank of Padawan. Then you will truly be a full-fledged Jedi. How are you enjoying your training? Still learning the Jedi Code. All Jedi must know the Code. Its tenets are the fundamental teachings of our order. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the force. Think and meditate on these truths, apprentice, if you ever wish to become. We got it. Greetings, my young pupil. There is. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the force. You have learned your nice. studies well, apprentice. It will not be long before you are a full member of our order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi. The very symbol of our order, the lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hands. And now it is your time. Chipotle. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. We're gonna speak to Master Dorak. So are we gonna learn how to use a lightsaber now? Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you, as do I. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. What color Blue is, there? is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Hmm. I kind of want to be a sentinel, but I don't like yellow. It's literally a warrior rogue mage. <laughs> yeah. It's really, yellow's more like paladin, right? Or shaman, maybe. I want to be a Jedi guardian. Indeed. I we shall Jedi see. Guardian. I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Attack the thugs. Hmm. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. Josh you are in combat here. with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There's a pause in the combat. What do you do? Try 
try to see a weakness in his technique. But then again, the Persians are great negotiators. Or I could just attack him again. I will try to find a weakness in his technique. Yes, I suspected as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? I am beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Hunt them down. Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Guardian. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? Blue. Here is a blue crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again, and he will instruct you in how to construct it. I'm now a Jedi Guardian, level 9. Look at that. Okay. Uh, let's continue leveling up Persuade. Okay. Wait, did I just get... Hold on. Did I get bonus? Persuade took... I thought Persuade took two points. Weapon proficiency, lightsaber, Jedi defense, force jump. Jedi sense, force sensitive. I'm sensitive? I'm gonna do... I'm, I'm gonna go weapon focus lightsaber. Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. Okay, so I have a blue crystal. And this is it, right? Energy damage. Assemble. Nice! There it is, dude. Look at that. There he is. You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfect. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? For every go, Jedi, dude. the three... You expect me to run off to find some stupid well, droid? Yes, uh, he is a droid, but he is very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have left. He is very dear to me, my precious. Just get a new husband. I don't know what I'd do without him. And a new, a new droid. Wait, sex droid? Wait, is, is it a sex droid? Yes, T3, I understand you're concerned about him too. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. <laughs> what exactly did you use him for again? He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Please, I beg of you, return my droid to me. <laughs> no, dude. This is... <laughs> what the... <laughs> What is wrong with this game, dude? <laughs> There's no way. There is no way. Zero percent chance they didn't do that on purpose. Old school Coomer, dude. Old school Coomers. Boomer Coomers. If I happen to see him, I will send him back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Master Jedi. If you find him, please send him home to me. I need him so much. Jesus Christ, dude. Mm -hmm. Greetings, fellow sentient. I noticed that you were not heavily in doubt. Heavily I read in doubt in chat earlier, and the word was stuck in my head. I'm so Somebody wrote in doubt when they were talking about the droid and they, the word in doubt. <laughs> Duros Warrior. You've been holding out on us again. The 
haven't given us enough money, I guess we're gonna have to take it out of you piece by piece. Oh, no, Frick. please. Take my wife and children instead. Anything. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> uh, what? Wife and children. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> What the hell, dude? I will be your doom. Well, <laughs> Frick, look, my buttons are off again. You, you are strong. Who are you? Can I do this? I am Juhani, and this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. This is the place you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. You embrace the dark side? Why? When I slew my master, Quatra, I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you, or so I had thought. You slew Quattro, your master? Yes. I struck her down in the middle of training, consumed by my anger, embracing the power of hate. But it was not enough. <sighs> what is it you want? Why do you bother me? I have decided to slay you and remove the taint. <laughs> I was sent by the council to cleanse the taint from this grove. The council has sent you here to kill me. Why then, when you bested me so easily, did you not simply finish your task? I have no desire to kill you, Juhani. Lies. Leave me and come back when you have the courage to finish your task. Wait, what? Even in death, the force will allow her to live on. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. How can the council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. Huh. Your master surely won't be forgiven you. You, you monster. To mock my grief that way, <sighs> leave me at once, lest I strike you down. I do not know what... <laughs> anger. Show them that you have freed yourself of this base passion. If I show them, I am free of passion. But I am serene, that I am willing to forsake the dark side. And maybe... Just maybe they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I've done? Your inner peace and harmony will show them your sincerity. I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. Oh, there's Juhani. I must give you my thanks. Because of you... I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. Have you spoken to the Council? I have spoken to the Council. And they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my my clumsy efforts. You can't expect to get everything happening. Arms is thinking of the so tier one, dude. Thank you, man. After our last battle, Quatra welcome, had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone. To explore the turmoil of my own spirit. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training. Though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. Master Zar Leston. You have done well, my pupil. The ancient grove has been purified. And Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because of you... She walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. Congratulations, Padawan. Ooh. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the nice. Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our Order. Nice. 
The J Bish, thank you for the five dollars, dude. Thank you, man. Really enjoying Boomer Month. This is one of my favorite games ever. Hope you're enjoying it, dude. I'm loving this game. This is a fantastic game. I I'm I'm really really happy with this. Let's see, Jedi robe. Nice. There it is, dude. Nice. Okay. Master Matali wishes to speak with you. I will inform him that you are here. Remain at this location until he arrives. Oh, frick. My protocol droid tells me you are here on behalf of the Council. I was beginning to think my demands had been ignored. Though I think your time would be better spent interrogating the Sandrils as to the whereabouts of my son, Shen. Shen? I thought we banned Shen. Uh, why are you so certain the Sandrils are to blame? Hmm, can't accuse the Sandrils of proof. Any information you might have would be helpful. Any information that you might have would be helpful. I have already told my story to the Council. Why did they not inform you of my circumstances? I did not expect such incompetence from the Jedi, but I shall repeat the tale once more. Many years ago, I brought my family here to Dantooine to escape the crush of humanity on the core worlds. Soon after we settled here, the Sandrils arrived, and they have been a plague upon my house ever since. The injustices the Sandrils have committed against the Matales are far too numerous to name. But the Council is well aware of our many disputes. Recently, I discovered several Sandral droids trespassing on my land. I have been informed by my protocol droid that you have news about my son, Cassis. Your son, Cassis, is dead. I've seen the body. Cassis is dead? I was afraid of this. Yet in my heart, I knew it must be true. What... What happened to my son? He was killed by cath hounds while exploring the Dantooine Earth. Cassus is a cath hound chew toy. Are all Jedi so callous towards those who grieve? No matter. Your cruel words hurt me no more than the news itself. Cath hounds? I, I was so certain the Metali family was to blame. But this changes nothing. My own son is dead. Why should I shed one tear about the disappearance of my bitter enemy's son? Typical. Anything to continue the feud which has become so customary to you people. I must ask you something, though it is difficult for me. My son had a diary, his private personal thoughts. Now that he is gone, I have nothing else to remember him by. Please. The diary means more to me than it ever could to you. I will give you a hundred credits for its return. Make it two hundred and you have a deal. You think you can exploit a father's grief? <laughs> I loved my son, but I am no fool. You shall get nothing from me. May the curse that brought Cassus to his death be on your head as well. Your actions show you are overly focused on material wealth. This is not the way of the Jedi. You will what? have to learn to let go of your greed if you wish to walk in the light. We have nothing further to discuss. Please, leave me to my grief. Who are you? My name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief, and he is convinced the Metales are responsible. He's not thinking rationally. Well, I just told him. Cassus was killed by calf hounds. The Metales had nothing to do with it. My father is a good man. Frick, it wasn't working. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. Judge him? What has your father done? You must understand that father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. Quit stalling and get to the point. My father has kidnapped Shen Oh, <gasps> He did! He's holding him prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Metales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Metales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I am afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. Why are you telling me all this? Shen is an innocent victim in all this. My father is not a bad man, but his grief has driven him to madness. He must be stopped. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. 
There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. Nice. Why do you care about Shen? Shen and I, we... Well, we have been taught by our families to hate each other, just for being related to our fathers. But I met Shen alone one day in the city, away from his father. And, and Shen was so charming, so sweet. He didn't care at all that I was a Sandral. He just accepted me for who I was, with no reservations. We talked and met again over months and fell in love. My brother Cassus met him too, and they were beginning to become friends. But then this whole mess had to happen. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. What the hell, dark side points? I'm gonna save Shen. From demanding 200? I know my worth, okay? My my work comes at a premium. Okay? I'm just look, they just gotta pay what they owe. That's all I'm asking. Why is that like why what's so evil about that? Why don't you get an elite controller? Who are you? I don't know. What do you want is. with me? Are you working for my Devin father? Fo I'm here to rescue you, Shen. Rescue me? No. I won't leave. It's too dangerous. I'll protect you, Shen. Let's it's go. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. Hmm. What if we take Rahasia with us? If you can us? convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandra doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. Mm. Why do you care so much about Rahasia? I was taught to hate the Sandrals, to think of them as evil and subhuman. But from the moment I saw Rahasia one day in the city, I knew that my father was wrong. She was like an angel, all white silks and perfume, seeming to float above the crowds. I don't know what else I could have done but fall in love with her. For months, I wooed her and tried to win her heart. I believe I have succeeded, but now this has happened. Our families are always coming between us one way or another. Please find her and convince her to run away with me. What are you doing here? Have you found Shen yet? Come with me, Rahasia. It's the only way Shen, Shen will leave the estate. Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't risk it. They're I know Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry. Okay. You're back. Have you spoken to Rahasia? Yes, she promised she'd meet us outside the gates. I pray she is not just telling me what I want to hear, but I will have to take that chance. Hurry then, we must not keep Rahasia waiting. You play Kotar 2? I'm planning on playing Shen, it at some point. you're safe. Rahasia. Well, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. We should get out of here quickly. You're right. We should go as fast as we can. I don't know how long it will be before my father realizes we're gone. You're right. We should. Oh, frick. There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahesha! Father! Mr. Sandro! <laughs> Nurik! Alan! I knew this was all your doing! I knew you had captured my son! You had taken my Cassus from me long before that! You started it! I don't want to hear any of your excuses! Now I will get revenge for your transgressions! Hmm. Hmm. Why don't you two just shoot each other and get it over with? No, Father, don't do this. We don't always need to be fighting like this. It's gone too far for that, Rahasia. Alan has crossed the line one too many times. Ha! For what you've done to me and my family, I will see you dead and rotting in the ground. <laughs> dude, I, dude, I'm just like instigating so... Look at this. Instigator Andy, dude. The only way either of you will end this is with blood. The only way either of you will end this was, is with blood. I'm glad somebody finally said what we've all been thinking. <laughs> Are you mad? They will slaughter each other. No, don't! This... This has all gone horribly wrong somewhere. Arlen... What can we be thinking? How could we have let this go this far? 
We are at each other's throats now, fighting over our children's lives when they are old enough to live their own. He is my son. How can he disrespect my wishes like this? Okay, your son has his own life, Alan. You can't control your children forever. Or do I lie and say, you know, Nurik, Alan actually did kill Cassis. Oh, frick, dude. Oh, man. That is juicy. Oh, that is juicy, dude. Do I, do I let, look. I could let them live their own life and they could live happily ever after, you know? And just kind of be like, look, this is, these are your, you know what I mean? You know, Nurik, Alan actually did kill Cassis. Hey, what? No, no, I never did anything to your son. I, I knew you were lying, you dog. I just think I thought it might not have been you. So I'll take your son oh, from no. you. Father, no, don't do it. Die. Ah! Shen! <laughs> Hold on, dude, this game is so... <laughs> what? Oh no, I was joking. Uh, kill them, kill them all. Uh, don't let them get away with that. Die! No, ah! no! <laughs> <laughs> no! I will kill you! I wanted them to kill each other! Yeah. What the? The master has been injured. Terminate all opposition. No! What the? Yeah. <laughs> Destroy the invader. <laughs> Not good, dude. Not good at all. Oh my gosh. Okay. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. Oh, those are the ruins that were locked. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. What happened to the Jedi who went to investigate? We do not know. That is one of the things you must investigate. We fear the worst. Is Spider. No droid. Nax out. It's Nax. I don't understand you. Uh. I still don't understand you. I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. I can reproduce any of the languages spoken by the slaves of the builders. Hey, I understood that one. Communication was a vital or was vital to ensure that the slaves are constructed. This temple according to the wishes of the builders. But you are not of the slave species, neither are you of the builders. You are like the ones who came before. Are you some type of guardian? I am the overseer. The builders program me to enforce discipline among the slaves while this monument to the power of the Star Forge is constructed. At project completion, all slaves are executed. I was reprogrammed to serve should a builder return in search of knowledge of the Star Forge. What is this Star Forge? Star Forge is the glory of the builders, the apex of their infinite empire. It is a machine of invincible might, a tool of unstoppable conquest. You don't really know what it is, do you? The Star Forge is the glory of the builders, the apex of their infinite empire. It is a machine of invincible might, a tool of unstoppable conquest. The droid is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Star Forge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. Could have been a factory or weapons plant? Maybe. 
That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. Thank you, Chapter One. I suspect the Star Forge is more powerful than a mere factory. Do robot accent, please. The droid has please. more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. Hmm. Who are these builders you keep talking about? The builders of the great masters of the galaxy, the conquerors of all worlds, the rulers of the infinite empire, and the creators of the Star Forge. These builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. Maybe the Builders refers to the Sith. I know nothing of these Sith, but they are not the Builders. The Builders are the Builders. Er, the Builders are the Builders. The Empire of the Builders is infinite and everlasting. None can stand against their might and the power of the Star Forge. Have you seen a Builder recently? I've been here ever since the completion of this monument. In all this time, no Builder has returned to seek information on the Star Forge. How long have you been here? My chronological surrogates have marked over ten full revolutions of this system's outermost planet around the sun since the Builders left. Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. Uh, there must be some mistake. There is no mistake. The Builders constructed my chronological surrogacy using the technology of the Star Forge itself. My calculations are infallible. Tell me about Revan and Malik. The ones who came before us. The ones who came before you, the ones like you, not the builders, but not slaves, sought knowledge of the Star Forge and its origins. They proved themselves worthy. They discovered the secrets of the Star Forge, looked beyond, locked beyond the sealed door behind me. But there was another who failed to unlock the secrets and paid the ultimate price. Oh, frick. The droid must be talking about poor Nemo. Oh wait, that Counts was Nemo. Him here to investigate, and it cost him From time. earlier, did you kill that Jedi over there? I am not programmed for combat. I did not harm the one who failed. The temple's own protections will destroy those who seek knowledge of the Star Forge if they are deemed unworthy. How can I prove myself worthy? Enter the proving grounds to the east and west. Within them, those who understand the will of the builders can unlock their secrets and open the doors. But those who fail will be destroyed by the power of the temple itself. More than this, I am not programmed to say. Revan and Malak unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Star Forge. Now Malak is using the Star Forge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Star Forge. The Republic is depending on us. Uh, okay. What's going on here? What is this? must be what Revan and Malik found when they entered this temple. This must be where their journey down the dark side began. I don't get it. Is this a, is this a Star Forge? This is a, a map. Some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malik must have used this to lead them to the Star Forge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Star Forge ourselves. But we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. See this world here? This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashek and Tatooine and here's Manan. But there are pieces missing. Manan. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data. And there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Star Forge itself might be. Perhaps those worlds have more clues. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Star Forge. But I know that Revan and Malik visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Star Forge. And some way to destroy it. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action. Though I suspect our task has only just begun. So, are we done? 
Ah, you have returned, young Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? Do I lie? We found an incomplete star map and mention of something called the Star Forge. This news of a Star Forge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the Star Forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi know victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Star Forge, but all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. Sounds like a suicide mission to me. Ever brash, ever disrespectful, this is what we have pinned our hopes on. Peace, Brew. We have discussed this. All oh, guys, voice actor in Batman. No then it's serious. His voice the Jedi sounds numbers familiar. have been ravaged by this war, by defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet, if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, why does he blink at the same time? Attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Might undertake this task alone. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith. But it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you, for there is a power. He winks at you because he thinks you're cute. Between you two, a connection that might What's be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you. Of the dangers of that path. Great. Bastilla and the Catwoman. Anyone else you want to stick me with? Of course. Those who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi. Nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. When do I leave? You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner, the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. <sighs> oh, here. This is the galaxy map, the Ebon Hawk's onboard navigational computer. When you're ready to leave Dantooine, you can use the galaxy map to travel to other planets around the galaxy. The destination is still stored in the Ebon Hawk's computer from the last trip Davik made with it. Okay, I see you are ready to go, Karth. You're well equipped. Um, okay, so I can choose Dantooine. Tatooine, Kashyyyk, Man, and Korriban. So these are all the different planets I have left. Now the real game begins. Okay. Well, good. Let me, um, let's do Kashik first and then we'll do Tatooine tomorrow.
temperate forest native species, the Wookiees. And we're gonna dock at the Circa Corp outpost. Oh, that's the place that the guy hated. Greetings to you. I'm pleased to welcome you to planet G5623. I don't see your ship on my docking schedule. The Zerga Corporation will see to your needs, of course, but there will be a hundred credit docking fee. In advance, I fear. Docking fee? Why do I need to pay that? This outpost is remote and expensive to maintain. The hundred credits given that will ensure that it remains here. For your use, of course. Upon collection of the correct fees, I will extend what resources the Circa Corporation can offer. I'm sure you understand. Uh, I don't think I need to pay the docking fee. Perhaps you don't need to pay the docking fee. It's weird. Yeah, I don't know why I even asked for it. Any services you need will more than make up for it. The Force should not be used for profit and personal gain. As Jedi, we should be above such things. Uh, we'll also arrange for translation services for a nominal fee, of course. You'll be encountering a number of Wookiees while here. I understand more than you can know. Well, very well. It's no concern of mine. I'll simply assume you're one of the rare sort that take the languages easily. Now then, please follow me to our information center, and I will answer any further questions here. Step forward and address mighty and wise Chendar, outsider. I don't often allow visitors of your kind. You are flanked by Zerka slavers. Are they not outsiders? Or have you sold all of Kashyyyk to them? Ah, Brother Zalbar, you've been exiled a long time. You shouldn't speak in that tone. Things are different now. You are a mad claw without honor. You have no voice among your own people. I, on the other hand, am chieftain. Don't listen, Zalbar. It ain't worth it. No more words, outsider. I've given my orders. I can't hold you here. But Zalbar will stay until you kill the mad claw in the shadow. Don't worry, lands. buddy. We'll get you out of here. You can count on us. <laughs> The guards will let you pass now. Leave the village to the northwest and follow the platform to the south and the east. Well, welcome to my home, such as it is. Pull up a stump and be comfortable. We should discuss a few things. No offense, but I don't got much time. You'll have nothing but time if you don't take what help you can. Oh, I've been here for many years. I know things. Remember that. My days of glory are behind me, but perhaps there is something I can do for you. You must have questions. Have you any knowledge of store maps? Now, why would you be asking about that, hmm? Don't answer. I knew that had to be why you were here. The problems of a few Wookiees don't amount to anything before the concerns of the Jedi. No, you are here for the map. Get to the point, old man. Kashyyyk is an interesting place. More so than anyone suspects. If Zerka Corporation knew... <laughs> The planet would be a strip mine. The Wookiees have their legends that they were not always here. But it is more than that. The trees themselves are strangers. You're rambling, old man. Get to the point. What I'm saying is that there are literally walls in your way. And you won't find what you need without my help. And my help has a price. You must do a task for me, and then allow me to join with you. I will then remove certain barriers in your path. Why can't I just pay you? I hate jumping hoops. Oh, save it. I know this sounds absurd, but I'm old and entitled to work you around a bit. 
Besides, the test is simple. Since they began expanding in the Shadowlands, the Circa have left me alone for the most part. John Until Circa. recently, anyway. A group of them set up camp not far from here. Poachers is all they are. I'd like them removed from this place. Why not just go get rid of them yourself? Don't talk back to your elders, child. Look, they know me quite well and are always on alert when I approach. The only way I could get rid of them would be violence, which would eventually lead to trouble for the Wookiees. I want them gone, but with as little fuss as possible. They have already caused enough trouble as it is. Uh, where are they? How many men? They are not that far northeast of here. There's usually five in the area, as far as I can see. The captain of the lot is the one that earned my ire. Mishandle my garden, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll look at good. You. Turn to me here and we'll see how you have done. Shoo! 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 What do you want? I don't want to get on the commander's bad side, so just leave me alone. Quit your whine and answer you my questions. Me? Besides, enough things down here want to kill me. I don't need to add you to the list. I'm not here because I know stuff. I it's all the same. Don't you? Now leave it's all the same dialogue. Force persuade. Maybe right. You want to leave. Maybe I should make a break for it. That was beneath you. I hope in the future you will strive to be better than this. Oh, oh, a traitor. I'll make an example of you. What do you want? I just... I... Now leave... Maybe you're right. Maybe I should make a break for it. Oh, traitor. traitor! I'll make an example of you. What do you want? I don't want to get on the commander. Are you? Mis don't now. Le Maybe you're right. Maybe I should make a break for it. Oh, traitor! I'll make an example of you. What do you want? I don't want to get. I'm not. Don't you now leave me alone before the commander gets any ideas. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should make a break for it. Oh, this, uh, traitor. Uh, that's just great. I don't have the men to keep this location safe. I'll be back though. <laughs> There's money here. You kill them all. Uh, Welcome like back. Know. I wonder. Good. Have you had much luck? Have you done as I asked? I've made certain the poachers are gone. Yes, I heard the fuss of it. I told you I wanted a non-violent solution, and I had my reasons for it. You should have thought about that. Zerka Corporation will find the bodies and blame the Wookiees. This may cause more troops to be deployed. That means more disruption. I'm not pleased, but what's done is done. I'm not here to judge you. Hopefully you'll take care of that yourself. I kill what I want. Don't argue with me, old man. Oh, go bark up a tree. Get the same response out of me. Besides, I'm not about to get in the habit of grading you. Hmm. You aren't going to tell me what I should a have good learned? good teacher. And I'm not saying that I am one. But a good teacher doesn't mash a book in a student's face shouting, Learn this bit here. If you can't look at the situation for yourself and see the logic behind my way of doing things, you're not the type to understand me anyway. Besides... You're a little old for that master-student fuss, aren't you? I know I am. You mentioned barriers, and there's a repulsor field yes, I want to pass. Yes, in the east past the poacher camp. I saw it when it was installed. It's a very effective barrier, but I know how to get past it. And on the other side, ancient answers. And perhaps a Wookiee you are seeking. I hope he's in the mood for visitors. Bastila Shan donated three dollars. How typically male. Is it possible for you to keep in mind that we have more pressing business to attend to? We're looking good. Cockhill Roy just resubbed for six months. Yes, 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 Okay, sorry, that's enough of that. Ah! 
Let's make this happen. Uh, uh, I'm here. Yes. What? Rowan. Attack. Dude, my character is so strong. More of you circa core rats. Is he even the is even the heart of Kashik not free from your kind? Almost feral after all this time. Calm yourself, Freya. We are friends. Don't you remember me? After years in the Shadowlands, I remember only that outsiders are not to be trusted. I'll see you dead. Well, this may prove difficult. Oh, frick. Okay. I hate to have to do this. What? what? Uh, I think I've been bored. So be it. I, I am beaten. Take my head. Circa Phil, you won't get another chance. So swears Freyr of Kashik. Chundar sends his regards. Now die. Did we come this far only to kill this old wook? I don't approve of this at all. What would you suggest? He attacked us I first. I know he did, but not without reason. The only outsiders he's seen for years have been slavers. You still think you're worthy of being chieftain? No, I don't. But better me than Chundar. He sells his own people for power. Please help, Fan Solo. You've brought me hope. I'll try to find it. Can you give me any direction? There's a place of ritual south of here. If the great beast is to be lured out of hiding, it must be done. Using the ways. The flesh of a fresh kill would be tempting. It would be tempting bait if displayed properly. Find the appropriate beast of sufficient mass to attract it. I will stay here and try to think of what I will say to Zalbar. I have wronged him. I hope he will forgive me. I will be here. Please, Fan Solo, find the blade of Baka's sword. I must make things right. Oh, frick. I almost killed the guy. Right before we found out it was his dad, I literally almost killed him. Guys, I must go find this blade. And you know what else I must do? I must go to bed. So that I can wake up at a decent time tomorrow and actually stream on time. Guys, thank you so much for joining me for day two of Knights of the Old Republic. Amazing game. Unbelievably good game. Yes, you guys are allowed to go to sleep now. Okay, class is dismissed. Oh, hey, no, no, don't stand up yet. I, you, look, put your books down. Okay, put your books down. Okay, I'm not done talking. When I'm done talking, you can leave, okay? Guys, Knights of the Old Republic has been amazing so far. Incredible. So far, if you're watching this on YouTube, on SFAN Streams channel, Twitch guys, if you want to see all the Boomer Month VODs, I'm uploading everything on SFAN Streams. <clears throat> if you're watching this on YouTube, my main channel is SFAN TV, Twitch, YouTube, Discord, Instagram, Reddit, uh, OnlyFans, whatever, uh, Farmers Only, whatever it is, SFAN TV. Everything is SFAN TV. Thanks for joining me. This game has been amazing. This game has been incredible. Boomer Month has been awesome. It's a huge success, overwhelming success. Chat, everybody say bye, YouTube. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I have. On the next, we're going to finish Kashik, and we're going to start Tatooine, and then we're going to go through as much of Tatooine as we can. I don't know how far we're going to go. We might even do, we might even freaking start cranking out planets. See you guys on stream or Twitter or Discord or elsewhere. See you guys soon.